The James Webb Space Telescope just spotted something weird, and scientists around the world are losing their minds. It looks like artificial light coming from about 7 billion kilometers away. This is making everyone rethink the hunt for alien life. They were checking out Proxima Centauri b, which is the closest exoplanet to us, and noticed strange bright spots that seemed to be coming right off the planet's surface. Could this be aliens? For ages, we've been staring at the stars, hoping to find some sign that we're not alone. Any hint of life out there gets people excited. Webb sent back info that might just point to other life forms out in space. During its deep space checks, the telescope saw some odd light, like the glow of cities, coming from Proxima Centauri b. Some are calling it the first recorded alien city lights. It's got researchers wondering if there's an advanced civilization way out there. A lot of scientists are really hoping this is the moment they've been waiting for. If true, it would mean smart beings have built complex societies far, far away, and we're just now seeing the first signs. Experts are studying the light, thinking about how long these patterns have been out there before we had the tech to see them. David Kipping, an astronomer at Columbia University, says Proxima b is acting strangely. Most planets soak up sunlight and spit out heat, but Proxima b is doing something different with its star, Proxima Centauri. This makes it a good target for Webb's infrared sensors, which are made to pick up tiny heat changes. The unusual heat from Proxima b might tell us about its air and if it could hold life. Scientists plan to use Webb's tools to dig into the planet's air. They want to see if there's anything there that could support life. Webb can catch the faintest light, which makes it perfect for studying places like Proxima Centauri b. It can really focus in on light frequencies, which helps it spot artificial light. The way the planet and its star interact is also key. On the sunny side, there might be huge solar panels gathering energy. The dark side, though, is super cold. This difference in temperature is something scientists are eager to learn about. Webb is also set up to measure the heat coming from Proxima b really precisely. This should give us clues about the gases in its air. The telescope will stay lined up with Proxima b's path, so it can check out both the light and dark sides over its 11.2 day spin. This gives scientists a great chance to study the whole daytime thing. Next up, they want to break down what's in Proxima B's air to see if life could live there. They're mainly looking for stuff like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, which usually means life is possible. If they find these, it would be a big deal. But it's tough to spot these things from so far away. They have to grab starlight that goes through the planet's air and figure out what's in it. Webb is good at this, but it's still hard to find oxygen. The telescope can also look for other things, like ozone, that might hint at a livable planet. We have to remember that Webb can't see everything. It can only check out planets that are fairly close. So, scientists are also using ground telescopes, like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, that should be up and running in 2028. This telescope will give us a much better view of planets that are further away. In the future, we'll have even better space telescopes that will build on what Webb has done. These telescopes will be able to block out more starlight so we can see the air around planets more clearly. This will help us tell the difference between gases made by living things and gases made by rocks. Even with the problems, scientists are making a lot of progress, and Webb is leading the way in figuring out alien worlds. After years of looking, we still don't know if we're the only ones out here. This question is what drives a lot of astronomy. Every new thing we find adds to the mystery and makes us want to know more. These weird lights from Proxima Centauri b have made things even more exciting. If they really are artificial, it would change everything we thought we knew about life in the universe. It would mean that intelligent life is more common than we thought. The idea that life could have gotten so advanced so far away changes how we understand space, time, and how things grow. Even though it's still early days, the chance of finding these lights on Proxima Centauri b suggests we might not be alone. At just 4.2 light years away, Proxima b is one of the best places to look. Webb's ability to spot such faint lights from so far away is a huge accomplishment for our space tech. As scientists look at the data from Webb, they're not just focusing on the lights. 
They're also looking at Proxima B's air for signs of life and studying the temperature patterns to see if it's a good place for organisms. At the same time, big space agencies like NASA are working on new tools. The next generation of telescopes, like the ELT, will give us amazing views and let us study alien planets like never before. Webb has already changed space exploration, and it will keep helping us learn how planets form and if they can support life. Each step gets us closer to answering big questions. Besides the lights, upcoming missions will gather more info on what Proxima B is made of. They're especially interested in gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. Finding these in an alien sky would be strong proof of life. But finding these substances isn't easy. One of the biggest problems is picking out the faint gas signals from the bright light of the planet's star. Future telescopes should be better at this, giving us the accuracy we need to say for sure what's in the air of planets like Proxima b. These improvements will help us decide if these planets could really be a home for life. As we keep looking, we know there are limits to what we can do. Webb is great, but it can't check every planet that might have life. Its range is limited. So, ground observatories have to step in and give us a wider view of the sky. The future of astronomy is looking good. With tools like Webb, the ELT, and other new tech being worked on, we're on the verge of big discoveries. Are we about to find alien civilizations, or are we alone? Only time and more observations will tell. Each new advance gets us closer to understanding the universe and our place in it. Webb's light spotting on Proxima Centauri B gives us a peek at what might be out there, a sign that life could be elsewhere. These lights are exciting because of what they could mean. Are they signs of another society that has grown and developed like us? If we confirm they're made by aliens, it would be a turning point in how we explore space. Even though we're being careful and sticking to the science, the fact that we're picking up these faint signals across space shows how powerful our space tech has become. Webb's ability to find these tiny light changes is a huge step forward. Looking ahead, scientists will keep watching Proxima Centauri B with every tool they have. One of the main goals is to scan the planet's air more closely, looking for gases that are linked to life on Earth. Research on exoplanet air is still new, and it's tricky. Picking out a planet's air from the light of its star is tough. But as we get better at it, astronomers hope to find even the faintest signs of life scattered across the stars. Despite the challenges, scientists are excited, and Webb is leading the charge in understanding alien worlds and the universe. After years of research and the hunt for life out there, one big question remains, are we the only ones? Trying to answer that is what drives modern astronomy. Every new discovery, big or small, adds to the mystery and makes us even more curious. The recent spotting of strange lights from Proxima Centauri B by the James Webb Space Telescope has made things even more exciting. If these lights are really from an alien civilization, it would be a huge deal, changing our long-held ideas about being alone in the universe. It would suggest that smart, advanced civilizations might be all over the galaxy. The idea that life could have evolved so far away changes what we know about the cosmos, time, and evolution. Even though this is just the beginning of the study, the possibility of artificial lights on Proxima Centauri B suggests we might not be alone. Proxima B is only 4.2 light years away, making it a prime target for more study. Webb's ability to spot these faint lights from so far away shows how far we've come in space observation. As researchers dig into the data from Webb, they're focusing on the lights and also checking out Proxima B's atmosphere for signs of life. They'll also be studying temperature patterns on the planet's surface, as these can tell us how the planet holds heat and if it's a good place for organisms to live. With more data, researchers can fine-tune their models and get closer to answering the big question, are we really alone? At the same time, big space agencies like NASA and other international groups are speeding up the development of the next generation of telescopes. These new instruments should greatly improve our knowledge of faraway planets like Proxima b and others that might have what it takes for life. Webb has already changed space study with its amazing finds, and its value will only grow. Its awesome observation skills promise to help scientists understand how planets form and change over time and how they might develop to support life. 
With every step forward, we get closer to answering questions that have puzzled people for ages. Besides checking out the lights on Proxima B, future missions should gather more information on the planet's chemical makeup. There will be a focus on finding gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are often linked to living things. Finding these in an alien atmosphere would be strong evidence that the planet could support life. But finding them isn't easy. One of the biggest problems is separating the faint signals of these gases from the bright light of the planet's star. Future telescopes with better spectrographs and imaging should fix this, giving researchers the precision they need to make better statements about the chemical environments of planets like Proxima b. These improvements will help decide if planets like this can truly be home to life. As scientists move forward, they know they're limited by current tools. While the James Webb Space Telescope is amazing, it can't do a full check of every potentially livable world. Its range is limited to certain types of stars and planetary systems. To fill in the gaps, ground-based observatories must add to what Webb finds, offering more flexible views of the cosmos. The future of astronomy is exciting. Armed with powerful tools like Webb, the ELT, and other instruments in development, scientists are on the edge of big discoveries. Are we close to finding proof of alien civilizations, or will we find that we're truly alone? Only continued study, better instruments, and time will tell. As we push further into space, each step forward brings us closer to understanding the universe and our place in it. Webb's recent look at lighting patterns from Proxima Centauri begives us a thrilling hint of what might be out there, a sign that advanced life could exist somewhere else. The excitement around these lights comes not just from what they are, but from what they mean. Could these be signs of a thriving alien society, much like our own? If these lights turn out to be from intelligent beings, it could start a whole new chapter in our study of the cosmos. While we need to be careful in our interpretations, the very fact that we're picking up these faint signals from so far away shows how amazing our space technology has become. Webb's skill in spotting even the smallest light changes and figuring out where they come from is a big leap forward in our journey of exploring space. Looking ahead, scientists plan to keep watching Proxima Centauri B with every tool they have. One of the next big things is to do more detailed scans of the planet's atmosphere, looking for key gases like methane, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. Since these gases are often connected to life on Earth, finding them elsewhere could strongly suggest there is alien life. The study of exoplanet atmospheres is still new, and it involves tricky steps. Separating a planet's atmospheric light from the overpowering brightness of its star is tough. But as our methods improve and our equipment gets better, astronomers hope to find even the faintest signs of life scattered across the stars. Webb is perfectly suited for this task, thanks to its sophisticated infrared imaging. This lets it see heat and light that older telescopes couldn't, giving us a and better view of the molecules in distant atmospheres. This greatly improves the search for life. But even with all its strengths, Webb has limits. One big problem is that it has a hard time spotting oxygen, a key sign of life. This gas is very reactive and doesn't stay in a planet's atmosphere unless constantly replaced, usually by living things. While Webb is great at spotting water vapor and carbon dioxide, it might not be able to conclusively measure oxygen. Still, the search for alien life is always moving forward and adapting. Other observatories, especially those on Earth, will be important in confirming and adding to Webb's data. The ELT and its powerful tools will soon start a new era of clear and deep observations of alien worlds. With space-based and ground-based tools combined, we're slowly building a more complete view of the conditions on planets like Proxima Centauri b.